Don broke it this morning. Damn. Huh? San Antonio's Sports Station. This is Ticket 760. Once again, want to remind you, as always, we are your home, your exclusive home for the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. Uh, action gets underway again today and tomorrow, and you can check that out right here on Ticket 760 or, of course, at Ticket760.com. Uh, we are live out at Texas Motor Speedway for the Samsung 500 weekend, and joining us in studio is one of my favorite people to interview. He's He's been gracious enough to come on with me a couple of times, uh, and he's always fun, and we're glad to see him back full-time where he should have been last season, we said it. Uh, driver at the number 12 Penske Dodge, David Strimmy. Welcome back to Tracks well, Thanks. Thanks for coming in and putting up with us one more time. Oh, that's all right. I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And, and sitting in here with us as well as our boy, Philippe Lopez. He, uh, he's he been running around everywhere. And he comes in. Actually, he comes in, I think, to give Stremmy a hard time because, uh, what was it, a year ago we were saying when, when David was racing in the in the Nationwide Series? What did you say, Philippe? Oh, I said it was just going to be a matter of time for him to get back in the cup drive. I mean, he's just got too much talent. And look, one year later, he's in, and I was sitting out for eight months, so <laughs> <laughs> now the table's turned. You needed a vacation. Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> hey, he'll be back. Well, uh, David, tell me a little bit, I mean, coming out here to Texas yesterday, uh, qualifying, let's see, 32nd, but of course, yeah. um, <laughs> but you know, the, the wind and everything picked up out there, I hear a lot We're of drivers were complaining. I'm okay. not I'm not making any excuses, I just screwed up. Uh-oh. Um, <laughs> we were ninth in practice, uh, and, and our car was really good, and I've just, uh, on a mile and a half, so I haven't figured out these new cars, and I, I think I'm trying too hard, or I'm doing something that's not right, because we'll be good in practice, and then we go to qualify, and I'm just... Uh, I'll screw up pretty bad. So, mm. but the the good thing is, is our car was really good in the race trim. Um, you know, just like in California, we started 33rd, end up 13th, and and uh, both Vegas and, and Atlanta, we had good cars and we got caught in the pits under caution. But uh, our mile and a half program is really good. So, um, you know, starting back there is it's not the best thing, but um, we have we have good confidence in what piece we've brought here, and pretty excited about it. Well, and it's a long race and a, and a big track. So, and that's what I was gonna say. For a track like Texas, does it really matter qualifying well it, it does matter quite a bit because okay. of uh pit selection versus uh you know you could get caught up in somebody else's mess right away um being back there and you just gotta fight your way through but i i feel pretty good i mean this track is seasoned pretty well to where you know especially the first part of the race um you'll see a lot of guys doing moving forward and some moving back and um it, it's got it where you can run against the wall or on the bottom it's it's a pretty good place so Looking forward to it. Uh, our teammate Kurt Bush did the tire test here, and and um, pretty excited about that because of uh, they have a little more fall off, but it, but it has a little better grip. So I think it'll be interesting, but uh, pretty excited to get out there today and just kind of tune our car in and get ready for Sunday. Well, and when we spoke with you uh, last year. And the, the thing was, is you stayed positive through the whole thing. Of course, you were frustrated, and you put it out there and said, you know, I'm frustrated. I, I need, I want to be full time back over here in the Cup Series, but I'm gonna, you know, stay busy and do what I'm doing. How, do, how has your welcome been with Penske, with Kurt, and, and how do you feel that you fit with this team and this organization? Well, um, I think it was shortly after we were here last year, uh, I had signed a deal to do some testing for them and develop their car, and and that went very well. And um, the the Penske organization. I feel I fit in very well with. Uh, a lot has to do with driving for Rusty and, and getting to know, uh, Rusty getting to know myself and him and Roger are really good friends and, and the 12 car opened up, which I'd have never thought that um, because of the relationship Ryan and, and the Penske group had. But uh, you know, that's a, it's a great car. There's a great organization. Uh, one of the things driving for Roger is, is he's, he's here every week. Uh, he won't be here this week because we got the IRL opener, but um, he, he sees what's going on and, and he was a driver once and it's like, hey guys, we gotta get our cars better. And like last week in Martinsville, none of us were very good. And you know, we feel we gotta work on that and then our Speedway stuff. But they went to work on the intermediate program and uh, feel pretty good about that. So within a company, you know, through these times and everything, um, they, they haven't laid anybody off with great sponsors like Miller Lite, Mobile and Verizon. So uh, we're, we're pretty happy with to have all them partners. and. We just keep moving forward, you know, and, and in through my transition of being back full time in Cup, I need to, like I said, get better qualifying with these cars. But I feel in the race we're very good, um, you know, my comfort within the team I feel, uh, you know, has, has gone very well, and, and we're looking to still improve some of that because you can always use improvement. But uh, you know, it's it's um, 
been an up and down first part of the year, but uh, I think as we get a little luck on our side, we'll be better. Right, and I mean, Philippe, you know, when, when we talked last year with, with David, and we talked about him as well, you know, throughout, well, nothing bad, but we did talk about you uh, throughout <laughs> the season. You know, I, I kind of wanted to know from the garage area among crew chiefs, among teams, drivers, when a guy like David goes from the Cup Series back to the Nationwide, you know that he's got the talent and the ability. He should be driving in the full-time series. When he comes back, do you think the credi you know, credibility even ups his game? I mean, is he looked at differently? Does he? Because I think with 43 superstars in this every week, sometimes guys, if they're not, if you're not winning or you're not, you know, the the car that's on TV the whole time, people kind of lose track of you. And yet, everyone is, is equally as talented, and anyone can win, you know, week in or week out. Do you think his, he's looked at differently coming back now? Well, I mean, he did it right because the way he came back, he didn't come back with a lesser team. I mean, he came back with Roger Penske, yeah. which is a stout team. So that, that says a lot for him. It says, you know, Roger had faith in him to, to drive a, a winning car. So they feel like they can do it. I know he feels like he can do it. So, I mean, he came back the best way he can, and, and that's with a really strong organization. Uh, when, once he gets, like he said, the qualifying down, uh, I think he's going to be great. Wow, I think he is there's no the, the, uh, the way I look at it is, is it, there's no question I have to get it done this time <laughs> because <laughs> you know we've uh, it is a good organization and and this is something that I waited to try to get back in with a good team so and uh, you know we'll see how things go it's still early in the season well and that's what I like about you is I mean you know you, you could have jumped in with anyone you know it's the same thing with Philippe I mean you know you could have jumped in with anybody but you have to find the right fit the right opportunity and what's going to work best for everybody not just for yourself but well for I think when you when I looked at the situation and Philippe's in the same same deal when you look at Joe and him even even though they miss a race here they've been very strong uh, qualifying race and you know they led some laps at Bristol uh, the thing is is that when you take something that doesn't really have much and you're able to do quite a bit with it a lot of people see that mm -hmm. and uh, you know the, the things change a lot in the garage um, you know a lot of people I think maybe talk a good talk sometimes and get in opportunities and and uh, then again it you know kind of they'll have changes as it goes on because results uh, you have to have them and and uh, you know guys like Philippe and and I and I look at a lot of other people the same way you got to really pick and choose where you're gonna go and and uh, you know what you're going to work with, and then do the best you can with what you're working with, and and um, I think it says a lot about people that stay around this business. Well, and I think it says a lot about you. You're very humble, and I think that's what that's what attracts owners, uh, sponsorship people. You know, to to want to have a guy like you representing their team, and and we always, you know, we're we're very grateful that you always come in. You always take the time to come in. I know you've got a meeting, and so we're going to let you jump out of here. But again, it says a lot about you, and, and it makes our listeners in San Antonio rally behind you even more. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I know. Um, I love coming to Texas. I mean, it, we looked at uh, last week we were in Martinsville, and I was already talking about coming here. So I'm excited about being here. Um, went out to uh, some great steakhouses while I've been here. So it is a lot of fun. Well, good.